Hi there. This is a video about solving linear equations variable on one side. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to label this as two-step equations. And what that means is that it's going to require us two steps to solve this equation, okay? Um, and so what I first want to talk about is the concept of opposite or inverse operations. And opposite or inverse operations, uh, let's think of the concept of addition. Okay, that's an operation. What's the opposite of addition? And that's going to give us subtraction. Uh, let's think of another operation, multiplication. And the opposite of multiplication is going to be division. So we can use these hand in hand. Um, you know, opposite of addition is subtraction. Same thing, subtract, opposite of subtraction is addition and vice versa down here, okay? So what I wanna do is I want to, uh, let's look at a couple of examples uh, to show you how to solve these. Okay, so in something like this, I've got three times x plus two, and that's gonna give me 14. So three times some number plus two is gonna equal 14. So we're trying to figure out what this number is. Now, this is a little bit trickier. Some people can do this in their heads um, if you think about it uh, enough, but what I really want to think about are my inverse operations to isolate x and solve for x, okay? So the first thing that I want to do is, is move this 2 over, okay? What I want to do, and, and I'm going to write this in here, um, I'm going to move this number first, okay? And I'm going to move the number that's next to my x last, okay? Um, and so that's, that's one of the things that, that often uh, students struggle with is knowing which one to do first. And you, sometimes they think to divide by 3 first, but you really want to work with this 2 first, all right? So let me rewrite this. And so what I want to do is I want to move my two first. Now think of what we, you know, what we talked about in the first video about solving one-step equations. All right, if I'm moving this two over, I want to do my inverse operation. So if I'm adding two, the opposite of adding two is subtracting two. So I'm going to subtract two from both sides, okay? And so as a result, uh, two minus two is going to cancel out. And I've got that 3x is equal to uh, 14 minus 2, which is just going to give me 12, okay? Now what we have is we just have a one-step equation, all right? This was my first step, was subtracting 2, and now I have my second step, okay? Hence the name, two-step equations. So from here, uh, I'm going to divide both sides by 3, since that's the opposite of multiplying by 3. And I'm going to do that to both sides. And I've got 3 divided by 3, which is going to divide out uh, to 1, and we're just left with x. And you've got then 12 divided by 3, which is 4, okay? So that's my answer. Now, you can go through and you can check this by taking this value here and substituting back in for x and seeing if you, if you do the math over here, if you get 14, okay? So let's check that out. Let's check this. And we're going to get 3 times 4 plus 2 is equal to 14. All right, so by order of operations, i got to multiply first. So 3 times 4 is going to give me 12, plus 2 is equal to 14. 12 plus 2 is 14, and that equals 14. So that's true. Therefore, that is my solution. Okay, let's look at another example. Okay, now in this example, um, you have negative x divided by 4, minus 5 is equal to 3. So this is a little confusing because you have a number of, of, uh, of negative signs uh, first, okay? Um, the other thing is it's, it's just a little hard to think about this intuitively. Um, some number, some negative number divided by 4, uh, and then you subtract 5 and you get 3. That, that's, that's hard, okay? So what I want to do is, is try and show you the steps on how I would do this problem so that it's easy to solve something like this, okay? Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this because when I have the negative up here, when you have a fraction, you can put the negative sign either in the numerator or the denominator. It doesn't really matter. In this case, I'm going to put that in my denominator. I'm going to rewrite this as x over negative 4 
minus five is equal to three. This equation and this equation are the same thing, okay? You could have uh, the negative sign either out to the side and the numerator denominator doesn't matter, okay? For this purpose, I'm gonna put it in my denominator because that's gonna help me solve this with less steps, okay? Um, and so from here, I'm gonna do this the same way. Whatever is next to my x, okay, I'm gonna do this part last, okay? And whatever uh, my constant is, whatever my number is that I'm adding or subtraction, I wanna do this part first. Okay, so let me rewrite this and let's give this a shot. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is I want to do the opposite of subtract five. Okay, so the opposite of subtracting five is going to be, um, I'm gonna take a negative, I'm gonna add five to both sides. Okay, and as a result, we're gonna get x divided by negative four is equal to uh, negative five plus five is gonna cancel out to uh, zero. And then I have three plus five, which is eight, okay? And then from here, what I wanna do is I wanna multiply both sides by a negative four. Since I'm dividing by negative four, I wanna multiply by negative four to both sides. And so uh, I get negative four divided by negative four is gonna divide out to one. So on the left side, you're simply just left with X and then you have eight times negative four, which is gonna be negative 32, okay? And that's my answer for X. Now let's go ahead and let's do check this um, to see if we're right. Um, and so I'm gonna do, uh, and I'm gonna plug it back into my original so that you guys can see um, you know, how, how it works back with my, our original equation. So if I substitute this back in, I have negative, and then I have negative 32 over four minus five equals three. So the first step that I wanna think about is the opposite of negative 32. So when you subtract a negative, all right, remember that's gonna turn into a positive. So you have 32 divided by four minus five is gonna equal three. Well, 32 divided by four is simply just gonna give you eight. Minus five is equal to three. Eight minus five is gonna give you three, and that's equal to three. That's true, so this is my solution, okay? Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we'll talk soon. Thanks, bye.